tunnel. They're set. We're set as the Steelers are ready to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here. And oh my God, these uniforms are disgusting. Get you, especially in Nashville, boy. Yeah. Uh huh. Roethlisberger, and that gonna be incomplete. A lot of nah, I'm dead at serious, bro. I'm not lying. Talking about is that nigga home yet? And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Fourth down. That certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, tap back on their heels. Little fat head. Nigga quarterback. Oh, he got Jared Goff. Now Goff on first down. Yeah, go get him. Go get him, Stephon to it. Hey y'all, you gotta see these jerseys, bro. These shits is disgusting. Ain't nobody seen this, the unis like that before. Niggas, niggas come ahead looking like bumblebees. Nigga, 
I'm in a game. I'm in a game. What up? Nah, nigga, I'm in a league game. Edmonds, nigga. Woo! He's a 63. Nah, I got. Not yet. Listen, baby. I am, and I already did. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. You might get it. Shut up, you is. I haven't been playing that shit either. I've just been playing my league games. Just so I won't get rusty. Still a nation out here, baby. Bro, you should see my uniforms. You should be wa you should watch my game, actually. Yeah. Guys, oh, just some, there's just some shit on there. It's not actually what that is. It's because you just load in. I said, this because you just not loading into it. That means everybody find someone to block, block them legally, stay on your feet, and they get it done. Touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. I'm finna beat the shit out of this nigga. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense yeah. at the line. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They they have a script to start the ball game. And typically, yeah. the Bumblebee shit out here, boy. Down two touchdowns. You know, I had to create them. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it. Just see that, yet. man. That was a pick, man. Anything. These three points get that zero off the board. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the twenty-two. There's gone. Oh, Edmonds. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six. For Steeler touchdown. The Bumblebee is ahead, bitch. So now two pick sixes that he's thrown in this first half of play. Both brothers don't score the touchdown this game. <laughs> One that got a pick six, one that got a one yard rush for like 91 yards. He crazy though. He got a good team. I, 
In the other league, I had this team. I was beating the fuck out of niggas with this team. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here. An inability to put any points up. This uh. might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Going up top for Cup. And here's another interception. I don't know why he tried to try me. My Cooper Cup going to snag. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting it right here. Paul, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play. Something in the air, deep ball. Mm -hmm. about them just taking it. Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now he can't say I'm just running the ball. Because now I'm going to have to throw hot dots at him. First and ten at the 36. Now it's Roethlisberger. He's going to rifle one deep left. Side. Oh, my God. Bryant. Martavius Bryant. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. That was a touchdown, bro. And that's what he's got to be happy to have. Bum ass nigga. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more. That's like catching traffic shit, dude. Got a couple more downs to play with. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. On second down, this is Edmonds. Are you serious? Why you didn't test the man? Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't it? To throw here, Roethlisberger. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And Got Claypool, baby. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Get that bum-ass nigga Jalen Rams out, Claypool. And you know the receivers love to say, if we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly Chase Claypool. what Claypool. He got drafted by the Steelers. He's from um, Notre Dame. He's gonna be our, our, our snag guy. Uh, He's gonna be our Randy Moss. You said what, nigga? Mm, what'd you say? But this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my God. All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. On second down, it's Brown. And he'll take this up only to about his 18 yard line. Yeah. We, yeah. You did that shit up, buddy. He don't know what to do. He passing. He passed us into this. Throwing on third. Go on. Oh. You seen that? He just scored. Cooper Cup, 82 yards. 
He just scored, bro. Yeah. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row. We're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for him. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. It's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that board. Scary this broken. Yeah, broken through. Can they maintain the pace? We'll see as we go along. That'll be taken in the end zone. Why he didn't spin back the other way? To about the 19 yard line. What up? The Steeler offense here about ready for their next oh, I'm just um, playing franchise. Now a play fake here on first down. And that gonna be oh good. my god, are you serious, Eric Ebon? Second down. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. The throw once more on second and ten. Roethlisberger, and seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Roethlisberger. He'll find Juju Smith Schuster. Juju. First catch for him on the afternoon. Juju, baby. Juju, be sticky. Oh my God! First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to Big Ben out there bombing that thing away. First down, but this throw down field incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw again is Roethlisberger. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. He became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Again, it's Roethlisberger. And he hits his tight end either. I should have just the fuck out of both of them, man. It's a gain of 20 in picking up the first. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner rock, and it will lean and push and get to where he wants. Why? Because you want to play caught? Yeah. Look at that. Shut up. can handle him physically, but a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. So from Rams territory now, it's first and ten at the forty-one. Now Edmonds. I said it came outside, but I think it's against the rules to shoot clock in first half. Takes us to the two minute warning. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. The coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So, the coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Roethlisberger will throw. Juju. Oh, my God. Juju's so fucking sorry. Eric Ebron. Tight end is intended target, and now it's second down. I think it's pretty the nigga a bum. The nigga almost stole the pass, but dropped it. Is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. You got a nice lead, you should be able to protect it. If you get careless with the football, look out. Right, man. It's intercepted by the Pro Bowler, Janet. It's not an absolute disaster, yeah. but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole. Yeah, because 
you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote unquote go. And if that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. Going up top. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Steven Nelson. Woods, the intended receiver. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he... Back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to the ground on first down, Edmonds. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. On second down now, Edmonds. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now the Steelers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! Black and three! They go play action with Roethlisberger. Going for it all. And that'll be incomplete with just Claypool. six seconds left on the clock. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Boswell signed to a four-year deal prior to last season, but he struggled a little bit. Yeah, do you think that they saw 13 of 20 when they signed him to a four-year deal? Not at all. He needs a big bounce back in 2019 if he wants to see the end of that contract. That's fielded in the end zone. Let's go, Let's go. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right? And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So time for the second half as the Steelers have the lead, and they will also be receiving the football here to start the third quarter. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. A gain of six there on first. 
You know, you wonder how the Rams' game plan in Super Bowl 53 might have been different with a healthy Cooper Cup. He was injured on November 11, torn ACL out for the year. But he was on his way to a 1,000-yard season in his second NFL campaign at 500. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Steven Nelson. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it, Kurt Coleman? Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles. That's right. He's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe he's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Throwing again on second and ten. Roethlisberger, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Going top shot for Smith-Schuster. And that will be... Juju, kiss the goddamn ball, nigga. Ball on your fucking fingertips, you faggot. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what, what did you see? Yeah, I think you got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, man. no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think it's caught inside the 25. Oh. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 34. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Out of the gun, gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. From the gun, here's gone. Sacked right around the 17. Stefan Tuitt, the former Notre Dame man, picks up his second sack of the afternoon. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Goal. And he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face a third and goal. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now it's gone. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. <laughs> No pick, just incomplete that time. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell. And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A big play there. 77 yards. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. 
Boswell good with the extra point. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to... And my goodness, another interception. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three oh times. Oh, my God, are you fucking they serious? Really take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Who's Here we go, here we go. Shoot. 50. 24. Roethlisberger going deep here for Bryant. Oh, wide open, complete. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Martavis Bryant, his first touchdown on the year as his guys continue to pour it on. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that will extend this big lead. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need a... And that is intercepted! Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. There's gone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Yeah, I'm 44 to 10 is as. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. Cuz I need I need all my rep, bro. We need the rep for the players. I know. Yeah. That's why, bro. That's why you need to join the game. That's why you need to join the league, bro. Cause, cause, listen, bro. And the niggas I play with, they're good, bro. Like, I, nigga, I be playing with Darren James, uh, that nigga fucking uh, Dalvin Cook, bro. Bro, we all in the league and shit, bro. We and like the niggas they be winning, bro. We they give them fifty dollars and shit, and hundred dollars and shit, five hundred dollars. A very good return there. Give him an even twenty yards. The Steelers are going yeah, the niggas, here first and ten. The niggas be playing. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow, bro. Sort of Bobby, I, I, was on, I was on Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday bro. You just think it on the game. I said I was on Tuesday and Wednesday, but you just didn't get on the game, bro. What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to yeah. go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive yeah. and will to come back and win can be taken Ooh. with another score right here. Still third Ooh, okay. Yeah, they're teetering yeah. right there. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Oh man, damn. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Good a little baby sit. There the legs still there. This has been a tough game. There's Roethlisberger. A baby sand. Well, struggles continue. 
open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way yeah. too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness he's it, gonna give her a baby sand. he's going to continue to struggle. Things looking pretty good on the yeah. out there and go for it here on four. Going deep here for Brian. And this is gonna be incomplete. You're sick. Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no yeah. avail. And the Rams get the football. It is about time for you to have about, about four kids. Down, it's hit. Daddy Sanchez Spurn getting old. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackle's been really good. I feel like my I feel like my spurn don't work, bro. For them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Yeah, I feel like mine don't work, bro. Cause I be nothing all in holes, and I don't be getting great in or nothing. That's why I keep doing it. I be like, well, yeah. No. Picked up by the rookie first rounder from Michigan, Devin Bush. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Mm, just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, right, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he is? Uh, about for the second week in a row. Seven o'clock ish. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. Mm -hmm. The last drive right, got bro. nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now it's Roethlisberger. Throwing for his running back. Oh. They'll get three as the drive Shit. continues. Hey. It's a first down. First down, Edmonds. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they'll set up with a second and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Oh my now God, Claypool! For the end zone, but it's incomplete. You had him beat Clay. On the deep ball, the secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Still a nation, baby. 50 0, nigga. Edmonds just scored again. He's a 63 overall. It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Mm hmm.
set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, it's just fun. The ending, the interception, but they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They go play action here on first down. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as Everybody got an interception in this motherfucker at least twice. On first down, gone. He's gonna let it fly. Make it with another pick. Another interception. Make it got what? Ten picks on the season? And he brings it back to right around the twenty-six yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. This nigga Edmund got 13 carries at 215, uh, 253 yards. He's a 63 overall. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run with Edmonds. The 20! A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 45 yards. Do my eyes deceive me? Is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Curse seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try to run with Edmonds. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It, it's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. <laughs> I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's, that's my, yeah, that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah. right before the game's over. We know this thing's done. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams' offense at the line. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Steven Nelson. Try to get it to Woods. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my map. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about <laughs> double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And they're going to have 
this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On the carry, it's Edmonds. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And finally wrestled down. Edmonds almost got 400 yards, bro, rushing. Signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, they probably don't need to run play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I've got to laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, what, what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same 64 room. to 10. <laughs> In that case, run it off. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. Made him fumble on kickoff. We got one more. One more try. Not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Yeah, you breaking up like you far as fuck away from the game. Touchdown. Gave him a 70 piece. Beat that nigga 71 to 10. This nigga had one rushing yard. The whole game, one rushing yard. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, the difficult season continues as they drop to one and eight, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home the next week. Thanks for joining everybody alongside Charles Davis. We thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. Fucking tire. It's a tire. Can't take it to the end of the tire. Can't see it knows like Mariah. That means the saliva.
burning notes like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Bitch, wanna give me her saliva? Bro, this nigga Edmonds just got nine upgrades off one game. Claypool out there getting off. This nigga almost had 400 rushing yards. No, no, no. Nigga, I was like 20 yards shy. I hope this nigga wasn't your friend. <laughs> this nigga walk. I'm talking about walk G. I'm talking about walk G2. Man, I beat that nigga 71 to 10. Beat the shit out that nigga. 